What's up guys and welcome to another Dirty Doctors Witcher 3 tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial we're going to be killing the White Lady. Uh, pretty much she's just a Noon Wraith, uh, but she l does uh, seem to portray different different fighting styles from uh, other Wraiths. So uh, we're going to be doing this video. If, uh, if you haven't watched my video on fighting the Jenny of the Woods, uh, the Jenny of the Woods does pretty much the same thing as this White Lady. Uh, except Jenny of the Woods is a lot more aggressive with pulling uh, the uh, the health out of you. So as you can see, she's super attractive. That sexy tongue. Uh, pretty much all we're going to need to use for this fight, we're going to go ahead and lock on to her. Uh, now I'm level 15, uh, or 14, 14, 15, something like that. Her attacks don't really hurt me a lot. If they do hurt you, all you need to use is Quinn. Put it up, and as you can see, if she goes to attack you, it's not gonna hurt you. Your shield is gonna absorb the damage. You still don't want to let her go through you though, uh, because if you do let her go through you, you're, she's gonna blind you for a second. What you want to do is you want to set down your Jurgen sign, so it's gonna slow her down. Uh, basically, the way to think about this, okay, the Jurgen sign doesn't actually make the enemy weaker. Uh, what the Jurgen sign does is it slows the enemy down. So what you can think of, uh, and what you're going to do right here when she splits into the smoke, you're going to try to kill these uh, wraiths as fast as you possibly can because she's gaining health. Ah, uh, see, she just gained all her health back. Uh, but uh, what the Yurden does is it slows them down. So what you can think of is like when she's ghostly looking like that, when she's outside of the Yarden sign, I like to think that they're moving in like a super fast frenzy mode. And that's why when you attack them when they're ghostly, that's why it doesn't do a lot of damage, is because they're moving so fast that they're like dodging your blade and it's only kind of nicking them. You want to get them inside the yard and sign so that it slows them down so that they take the full brunt of your damage. And as you can see here, pretty much all you got to do is, you know, try to keep her inside the circle, hit her a couple times, you know. Uh, it's, it's really relatively simple as far as killing these kinds of wraiths and stuff go. Uh, if, if you know, if you want to watch the uh, the Jenny of the Woods video that's on my channel, uh, the Jenny of the Woods is a lot more aggressive with the health gain, and I kind of explain why uh, why you know she's a little bit more aggressive and whatnot. Uh, but anytime she goes to respawn to like convene back into herself to set your yarden down right on top of her, and this is pretty much the fight. You just back up and you just slash while she comes into the thing. You see how, like, if you only hit her twice, then normally she won't retaliate. She normally won't get in a hit on you. But you can hit her about three times most of the time. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and check our loot here. Let's see what we got. Ooh, looks like we got a new weapon and a new trophy. So let's check these out and see what they do. Uh, I'm going to say the trophy probably grants 5% bonus XP. And it does. Yep. Okay. So let's check the sword out. The sword is not as good as mine. Speaking of my sword, check out this awesome handle that I've got on this thing. I don't, yeah, he's not going to pull it out. Uh, let me see if I can zoom in. Look at the handle on my steel sword. How awesome is that, right? This game has, like, the coolest weapons, I swear. Uh, if you are newer to the game, and this is the first uh, video that you're coming upon on my channel, I'll kind of go over my skill set here, just briefly. Uh, what you want to do is you want to get mutagens. Now, you can put in loot, uh, lesser mutagens. Uh, if you combine three lessers, you can make a blue. Uh, if you combine three blues, you can make a greater. Uh, and when you make a greater, you know, the greater blue mutagen will give you 10% sign intensity. Uh, and then if you get a greater uh, red mutagen, it will give you 10% uh, attack power. You want to link these with as many of the same color skills as possible. Because if you'll see here, this gives me 10% sign intensity. And then it also gives 10% sign intensity for each blue skill linked to this mutagen. So you'll see underneath it says sign intensity plus 40%. And this one is giving me plus 5% attack power, and then 5% uh, for each one of these, giving me 20% attack power. Also, if you're playing on the Death's March difficulty like what I am, 
Uh, the Sun and the Stars perk is extremely useful. It lets you gain vitality during the day. That way you don't have to use up all your food supplies while you're in between combat just so that you're ready for the next fight. And as far as uh, using your science go, having delusion is extremely helpful in conversations. Uh, pretty much I just use it to get what I want instead of having to, you know, uh, try to kind of argue around a topic to be able to get to a certain point or have to go run a quest for somebody to get to that point. I can just, you know, tell them, hey... Cut the shit, let's do it. Uh, and then as far as your Quinn Shield goes, you you want to have Exploding Shield and Active Shield. These are super important when you're playing on the Death March difficulty. This is going to keep you alive. Just trust me on that. Alright, so uh, thanks so much for watching another one of my tutorial videos. I'm uploading videos like this every day. Uh, so if you like the content, if you want to see more, just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It really helps us out a lot. And uh, thanks so much for watching. You guys all have a great day.